The truth will be heard. And it was. This week on Smackdown, we found out the truth. We found out what's behind the glitches. Finally. I actually did do a video talking about the first glitch earlier. Because I thought that was all we'd get. I'll probably make that one private now. Because we got this. We now know the glitch is like a computer hack. We kind of theorised that with the background and stuff. We don't know yet the identity of the man behind the glitch. We can only assume it is still Mustafa Ali. That's the thought going all the way forward. This is huge. He basically, whoever it is, revealed Sonya Deville is the person who sent the text to Otis, pretending to be Mandy Rose, and that she was working alongside Dolph Ziggler. Dolph basically made her do it. She wanted to do it so they could both get what they wanted. And what was that? Mandy Rose away from Otis. And of course, that meant Dolph got to date Mandy. Mandy wasn't happy. Mandy stormed out of the arena. Otis chased Dolph Ziggler out. Sonya Deville looked like a rabbit caught in the headlights. She's been caught. I don't know what this means. Could this set up a WrestleMania match? I honestly want to know the identity of the guy behind the monitor. I think that's huge. Could he sort of stay in the background for a little bit and unleash other secrets in WWE? I think that would be really awesome. I do think it's going to be Mustafa Ali. I don't see it being anyone else. I'm really, really into this. I think this is so unique, so cool. Let me know, as you always do, your thoughts in the comments section down below. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitter at C Wrestling UK. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace!